Right, so what you've got there is the uh, Thorn Alpha 4 sock lamp with a 13 watt bulb slotted in through the um, underside. You can see down here, uh, just a cable I've slotted in through there. Strung it up and uh, hung it over the uh, bulb support at the top here and uh, dropped it down. And it doesn't look off bad, does it? One option for this, but um, what I'm going to try and do now is uh, wire this thing up properly. So I'm going to set this up on the table and uh, try and get this wired up properly. Um, first try it with this bulb and then try it with the 35 watt low, low, uh, low pressure sodium bulb I've got in the Thorn Beta 5 there. Right, just uh, stop this and change the camera angle and get this thing on the table. Right, so what we've got here is a standard three core wire and plug. You can see that there. I've just uh, I've already yeah, stripped the wires and everything ready to go in there. Um, right, what you'll see here is what I've done here is just, it's just a, an old lamp, like standard uh, corner lamp. Uh, pulled the wire out of and the socket out of and put the normal bulb inside. Quite an easy little thing to do. This is how I got the air. Uh, it was a, what I think was happening there was the, the reflectors. See these lines here? They used to spread the, the low pressure sodium lamp light over a wider area. Um, those were actually helping magnify the, uh, the 13 watt little bulb I had in there so it was actually well bright enough to light this room and you know, brighter than most lamps uh, of 13 watts would be just because it was actually in this unit which is designed for spreading the light out over as wide an area as possible but um, yeah, we've got to get this thing open again haven't we if I remember I had it the other way in the video there you go because this top bit the top ones don't really want to come out so well there you go So. See that there? Just threaded the bulb through there. <laughs> Take this off. Take the bulb out. But there's your standard socket bulb. Yeah, just thread it through here. Push the wire through the uh, plastic casing here. So we'll take that out. So, the wire this thing up. I've got to get back into the uh, connecting service port here. So I don't really need to go back into here for a moment, we can close that back up again. And we'll focus on this part here. So we might have to zoom you in a bit, just so you can see what I'm doing with this. A bit more of a zoom on there. Right, so into the service port we go. See it better. I've actually uh, been in here with a vacuum cleaner and hoovered out all the cobwebs and things that were in it. It was absolutely filthy. I've also washed the whole outside with soda water. Oh, there goes, uh, <laughs> goes that nut again. It went flying the last time. Yeah, well, that's connected so when they're working on this from the underside, it doesn't lose. Obviously I've lost the uh, screws when it's flying again. There they go. There it is. Keep that there. One screw. Right, so uh, I wanted this to go this way so we can get access to this a bit better. Because this is the actual inlet cable which goes through here and through here. As you can see. So that's where I'm going to need this wire. socket connection. Just going to feed it straight through here. Uh, it's uh, picking and catching on things so I might have to twist these together a bit. Yeah. 
Ja. Nu ja. is kom. Hey. Right, let's be standard three core wire. I'm not too sure about the thickness of this one. I might replace this one later with a heavier duty three core wire. This one looks a bit thin for 90 watts. But just to test out the lamp to make sure it works, I will use it for now. So what I'm gonna do now is get the phone. Where's it gone? Take some pictures of how that's wired at the moment. Always recommend you do this when you're messing around with wiring. So we're going to uh, take a picture of how it is wired at this time. I mean it's very straightforward, brown to brown, blue to blue, blah 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 blah, but and uh, the earth to here. In fact, I might actually uh, video it closer up. So we've got uh, brown to brown, blue to blue, and the earth to this junction here. This thing here. Right, so we'll remove that off. I'll take a picture of that as well. A little more. There you go. Right. Let's, uh, do these wires from this. It's the same problem I had last time with these, they're really connectors at all. Come out right eye, out it comes. Show this one in here. And the earth out here. That's a bit rusted up, that one, mind. Is it worth it? Don't think so. Earth is well rusted up. I'm not going to get that out. And the tear is a pair of slippers. Because that's so rusted up, I'm probably going to have to end up oh, to come off anyway. I might be able to wrap that round. Probably going to have to eventually solder the uh, earth wire to this, but for now it's just a case of making the best you can with the connection. In fact, I think I'll just solder this on now. Just need to get the soldering iron out of the cupboard. Soldering it on. Right, I'll pause use for a second and I'll come back and stop doing the soldering. I e do love me gas powered soldering iron. Uh, I'll use back for a bit. Right, this thing's set up. Do a wee bit of soldering here. Thank you. 
them up. Now that I've got that out, I might as well um, tip all the ends of these wires. We saw there as well. I shall just do all three of them. the brown in first and then solder on the earth. I have to um, keep an eye on how hot this wire gets because I think I'm going to need a are really thin. I put 90 watts through I think. Okay, hopefully we get a good contact straight away. I've been fucking around for ages with this. has contact. Yeah, contacted. I think I'm going to secure it with these because if this plays too well on there, it's going to do just like what it's done there and snap straight back up. So Hopefully that's uh, tightened up right. The thing I'm going to do is test this with the uh, 13 amp bulb from a distance. That's my glorious neighbours. Nice and uh, quiet on the. on this. Right, so we've got the 13 watt bulb in it. I'm going to go and walk over to the extension socket to the wall. Well away from that. Give that a go. There you go. That looks like that is working, but giving a very bad <laughs> reaction.
response to having that bulb in there. No discharge. Right, we'll go ahead and try the 35 watt sox bulb out of, out of the other street up here. I noticed it was flickering now. I don't know if that's something to do with the fact that that was a 13 amp bulb in it. It didn't need the uh, starting equipment. Or whether there's something wrong with this because I did notice that some of the ballast equipment's right rusty. And I've got a funny feeling it might be slightly faulty this lamp. But we'll soon find out. Right, move that up. Get the uh, residential area lamp out. Yeah. Right, so there's the 35 watt bulb. Question is, is this 90 watt main road unit going to blow that bulb? soon find out. That's another, because it's not big enough. Mm, that's a concern. See, the, you've got this support here for the longer 90 watt bulb, but it's, it's not there for this one. So we'll have to find something just to prop it up for a bit. Let's think. I think that's ah, your disco lamp. This should be alright. It's a prop. Just hold it up. Stop it right now over the place. There you go. Right. In place. Let's give this a whirl. I've got a feeling it will still flicker because I've got a funny feeling that this ballast is faulty. Nope, not flickering so bad. But that's uh, looking all right. That seems to be working okay. Well, I'm confident at that stage, now that that's working, to maybe uh, go ahead and order the uh, 90 watt bulb for this one. Anyway, so that's the wiring of it uh, sorted. I wonder if I get any near earth, earth. Nope. Earth is alright, I'm not getting electrically shocked off it, so yeah. Anyway, let's just uh, do that. So if you can imagine, um, the 90 watt bulb will be up to there, so that would give you an idea what this was like when it was on the motorway or main road. I'm sure you can all remember that. Anyway. There's the uh, Thorn Alpha 4 low pressure sodium lamp all hooked up.